finish that comes along with the stick foundation. So check this out. This is the tan. Uh, foundation and then here is the brush that goes along with it. The brush itself valued at $40 and you're getting, whoa, uh, this doesn't make any sense. You're getting it all for less than $40. Okay, whatevs. <laughs> um, we're just gonna carry on over here. Okay, so how are we using this? Because we have this awesome stick, we have this awesome brush. How do they go together? So this is the most convenient foundation I've ever used in my life. So it's a serum, uh, very, very hydrating, uh, skincare infused foundation that we pour into this super convenient stick bullet. Um, so you can see you get tons of product there and it will retract back down. Um, so when you glide it onto your skin, I just glide it right onto my skin. It literally melts all that serum and skincare into your skin like butter. It, it feels does so melt. good. Full coverage, super hydrating. Uh, same shades as the concealer. So pick the same shade of whatever you just, we're gonna choose for your concealer. Don't go any darker or lighter. So the first is Fair, that's your porcelain skin tone, pink or red undertone. Then Light, which is a neutral undertone, equal parts of pink and yellow. Then we have Medium, which both Elise and I are using for all over our face. That is a warmer yellow undertone. Then we're both gonna contour with a tan here. That's a neutral undertone, equal parts of red and yellow, and then our darkest shade is the deep. Perfect. That's okay. a red undertone. Well, you know what, Mel? I just followed your lead there. I put <laughs> it all over my face, just in. You look great. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. And now I'm just taking the brush that comes along with it and just blending away. So blending back up into the hairline here, right? And I already had that concealer on. So you can see that hyperpigmentation that I had, it's virtually covered at this point. I'm not quite done blending yet, but you're getting a good look at it there. And now I'm blending the forehead just back into the hairline as well. Oh, this foundation is gorgeous. Creamy, dreamy. Creamy, delicious. There's a slight luminosity. Look at the forehead, you can see that mm -hmm. that hyperpigmentation that I have is covered, but it still looks like my skin. It just looks like my skin a lot better, right? So, you know, Doll 10 all about that timeless beauty. This is what I'm talking about with that timeless beauty. Good skin never goes out of style. Agreed. Wow. I'd this say this is like a velvety finish. It's dewy, mm -hmm. but it will dry down. It won't stay super, super dewy. Nice. You know, I, I a lot of times will base a foundation like on its coverage. Like, can you still see my beauty mark? Because I usually want my beauty mark to be able to be seen. And you can, mm -hmm. right? Use to the point and just put a little fake beauty mark right on I top do. of it. <laughs> I do. I always that. fill it in. <laughs> I love that trick. <laughs> Uh, one time I gave Alberti a fake beauty mark. Oh my gosh. We had matching. <laughs> okay, now am I pulling this down the chin? Yes, and I blend it into my neck, and if you do have anything you want to cover on your neck, you can actually apply more foundation onto your neck. This brush is so good for hugging those contours around the jaw. Totally, right? Right in there. So easy. Uh, so easy. Yeah, this foundation is gorgeous. So I'm in the medium. Are you also in the medium? Yes, I'm also in the medium. Okay. And you can see how this amazing, it's, it's kind of a trend here with precision. Our concealer was precision tip. This brush mm -hmm. is super precise. Um, it really just fits in the, all the curves of the face and blends flawlessly, giving you that airbrushed look. Well, Liz in the chat says, Elise, I love this on you. Liz, my goodness, girl, I am right there with you. I've been waiting to get this on my face. I'm obsessed with this uh, with this formula, but really, you know, you feel like a new person when your skin looks beautiful. Oh my beautiful. gosh, and it feels hydrated. It will never crack on you. It won't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. It's infused with anti-aging ceramide, so you're doing something good for your skin. Um, that help builds up that protective barrier, so if you have aging, crepey, uh, dry skin. This will just give your skin the life that it needs. It feels and looks so good. Love it. Perfect. I love that. I just went back with, with a little bit of that Hydra Bomb concealer just to give a little bit of brightness in some places that I wanted, but I really didn't have to. I'm just kind of playing because it's in front of yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> you could go back and forth. Absolutely. But look, I'm, I'm looking like a totally different person, to be honest with you. It feels so great. You can still see some of my freckles. If I wanted to cover them up, Mel, would this be buildable enough to completely cover them? Yes, medium to full coverage. You can absolutely gotcha. build up, let it set a little bit, and then build a little more. Perfect. And I'm actually going to contour a little with that tan oh, shade. Oh, I'm going to do that as well. All right, so we're just taking one shade darker. 
yep, it's gonna go right under the cheekbone and a little around my hairline, just a quick contour. And this isn't too much darker. Like you said, we're only doing one shade darker, so it's a really natural looking contour. Um, nobody will be able to tell that you contoured with this. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing the jawline. <laughs> oh, that's the best that's part, a, the that's contour. A, no brainer. And this brush is a dream for contouring with cream formulas. So I just blend upward, lifting that cheekbone. Blend into my hairline. The irony, right? I cover up all the hyperpigmentation on my hairline and then- <laughs> And then you draw it back And then I draw it back <laughs> in. That's what makeup's all about, covering everything and then redrawing. Redrawing. Rebuilding right. color on your face. That's right. We just pick and choose what we want. <sighs> it's okay. It's so fun. The process is fun. You know what? It's fun when the products are amazing like this and when the formulas are gorgeous and you have the right tools. True. When it's easy, it's fun. I'll put it that mm -hmm. way. If you're struggling and, and you don't have the right tools, the formulas aren't blending, it's not so fun. No, then it can be really frustrating. But the, one of the things I love is that, you know, Doris brought us this amazing foundation, like absolutely incredible, amazing. Look at cheekbone, Ooh, still working on it. There it, it is. Um, <laughs> amazing foundation. And then gave us this brush that's everything, beauties. It just goes along perfectly with this, absolutely hugs the contours of the face, just as Mel was speaking to, and gives you that beautiful medium to full buildable coverage here by using this combination. So um, the brush itself valued at $40. You're getting everything home for less than 40. I don't know, I can't explain it. That's the best I can do. Um, here's the deal. You have fair, light, medium, tan, and deep. You can see your shades right there in the shade chart or log on to beautyiq.com and look at them that way. I was wearing the medium all over and then um, punched it up with the tan for my contour and that's actually what Mel did as well. Okay, Mel, so we are moving on. Boy, it's like rapid fire over here. We are just building a face. I know, it goes too fast. It's so now it's not long enough. <laughs> it goes too fast because it's so much fun. Yes. Um, <laughs> now we have the nude lip blush and highlighter. Power of Pretty collection. Um, okay, Love it. so here's what we're getting, beauties. We have this gorgeous champagne highlight. Oh, love, oh my word, can't wait to put this on. All right, so here's your champagne highlighter. And then we have here, this is the Hydrogel Cream Balm. So this is, um, this is a lip and a cheek, right? Yes, you could put it anywhere you want. Uh, I love to use it lip and cheek, but you get lips with this too. Yeah, so well, that's whatever the thing. you so feel now like we doing. have to make a big decision. Which yep. lip do we want to <laughs> put on? Oh, you know what? Sorry, my lip is a little being a little funky. Uh -oh. um, then we have we. Okay, good, Mel. Thanks. Will you show us your lip because my lip's being funny. Oh, it's a little wonky. Yep. Yeah. Show you my lip. So double-ended new lip wardrobe, uh, tried and true. Favorite product in the Doll 10 line, definitely um, from our dolls. So you get both. You get the lip gloss on one end and the lipstick on the other end. And they're perfectly coordinated shades. And these shades are actually from last year's TSV. So we did them exclusively for the TSV and then everybody who picked it up begged for the shades to come back. So we guys, did it again. If you don't know what that is, that's yeah. our today's special value on yeah. our big sister company, Sorry. QVC. <laughs> so that that's like the big deal, right? It's like our steal here, but yes. at our big sister company. So we listen when you talk is basically what Mel's saying here. I already went in with the lip. I couldn't help myself. That's okay. Doris Dalton, <laughs> nude lip. It's a synonymous situation.